to say the next level of, of AI that we're using is an application called Neva. And it's for robotic process automation inside of the company. And it's a virtual desktop assistant. So an agent's working on their computer and essentially the screen will pop up and the AI is looking for what they're doing on the screen and what they're doing in the systems. And it will basically say, are you trying to execute this task? So are you trying to put in a case order? Yes. And it says, great. And then Neva will ask like a chat bot. It'll ask like three or four questions to the agent. And then and it'll say, do you want me to execute this task for you? And they hit yes. And then it goes into the system, fills out all the fields. It sends the appropriate communication to trigger workflows. And it actually starts communicating and engaging inside the company and filling out information. So it cuts the agent work time by sometimes three quarters of the work is just cut out. And then it will, it, on the back end, it will update systems and modify information. It can even say, do you want me to send an, an, an email update to your customer? Yes. And it will write an email with all the relevant information and send it to a customer for it. It's really I cool. I love that. So now really you're good. talking about, so AI used appropriately is enhancing the agents. It's bionics, right? It's not AI, right? You, you get the $6 million man now if I'm going to date myself, but you, right. you, you've got, you're enhancing that agent's capabilities now. You're taking that agent from doing rudimentary tasks to getting the, to, to shifting that to servicing the client and keeping the engagement going while the, with the client while that other stuff just happens in the background. You don't have to deal with it. That's right. Oh, so the agents this. are focusing on people, right? Yeah, they just love this. They'll love it. And it cuts the cost, right? It, it, you know, if you're saving three quarters of their time, you're saving a ton of money, a ton of money. So when, when you think about that, that's where you can start investing more in the customer and you can get loyalty out of it. And Absolutely. You know, people love it. Now, they love it. No, no, that, that's huge. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, if, you, if I'm with you and I'm speaking with you and I know you're engaged, there's nothing more that I like less than the opposite, which is I hear somebody typing, I hear somebody doing things, I hear... Somebody talking to their manager in the back, and I'm like, I'm going to have to explain this all over again. Yeah. I'm going to have to talk to this person three times. And then when they escalate the issue to somebody, because I never take no for the first time, or I never take my first answer if I don't get the answer I like, now I know they're going to have to explain it over again. This seems like you're using all those tools that even the, the, the client journey map is way more enhanced. And one it thing I want to make a comment on too, Frank. Yeah, it's, it's good. I want to just make a quick comment on it. These are sophisticated systems, you know, the, the chat bots, the, the, um, the robotic process automation talk about, I mean, they're, they're sophisticated systems and they require kind of a lot of foundation to be installed. And a lot of